Hello guys, my name's Case Judd and today I'm back with another unboxing video. The first one in three months, but we, we, we're, going, we're going to move past that. So I won't lie to you, it's, it's been a little while, a, a good three months since I last posted, but within those three months I've, I've moved to university. You can probably see it's it's a different it's a different setting. This is my new room. It's it's pretty exciting. Things have just been a bit all over the place recently, so I haven't had much time to film, but here we are. I'm I'm back with a video today and we've got an unboxing video. Again. I know we've had quite a few unboxing videos lately and I am going to be filming more content, but like I say, the past couple months have been a bit hectic, so let me get back into it. But yeah, today we've got an unboxing video. So Flight have sent me this ukulele. This is part of their new Ultra series. It's a soprano ukulele. And the light is reflecting on the box. How nice. It's a different style box, it's purple this time. So Flight have sent me this ukulele, and although I work with Flight, I genuinely believe that they have high quality products, so the unboxing is still an honest review. Okay, so let's let's open it up. I'm really excited. Okay, so straight off the bat, you can see that this is a different style bag. This is because the ultra ukuleles are made of a different material, so they are more durable. So the only thing that really needs to be protected is the strings. So first off, we do have the ukulele, but I shall set that aside for now, we'll come back to that. And inside the box, you get some stickers. They've actually got new stickers since my last unboxing video, which is really cool. Oh, I like them, I like them a lot. And the last thing you have in the box is a little booklet, um, which is like getting started with the flight ukulele. So you have some general information about the ukuleles, some basic chords and strumming patterns. And you also have some information about the flight crew. And you know what? Guess what? You'll never guess what. Here's some of the flight crew, okay? I can't point. Oh, it won't focus. Oh, please focus, not on me. I know it's not focusing, but that I am. Uh, th that is me. That is Katie, that is me, front and centre. There we go. Isn't that so cool? That is so cool. I'm, gen I'm genuinely, I'm genuinely, I feel blessed to be amongst these amazing people on this page. That is honestly, I c that is so cool. And then finally on the back, there's some extra things that you can get uh, as accessories for your ukulele, like straps and picks and strings and whatnot. And then finally, we have the ukulele. So yeah, first of all, uh, the gig bag, it's different. You've got a drawstring bag. While you have got padding on the back a little bit, it's less padded in general than the normal gig bag is. But like I said earlier, that's because this ukulele is a different material and is therefore more durable. So you don't really need uh, that extra protection. You have a zip pocket on the front and that that goes that goes all the way down that does. And you can sell things such as like capos, strings, tuners, pigs. This is really good. It's a it's a bigger pocket than on the normal gig bag, so you can store more in there. Now it's time to see the ukulele. So here it is. That is a really lovely colour. I love it. It's it's blue. Uh, this is the Flight UTS 35 Ether Ultra Travel Ukulele. It's a soprano sized uke. On their website they have different colour and design variations to choose from. From what I can currently see, there's about 19 different designs you can choose from. I chose this one. I really like the colour. It's described as like a teal colour, but it's like it's quite a dusky blue, a dusky light blue. I really like it. So Flight's new Ultra range are a different material. They're polycarbonate reinforced plastic. It's really smooth. 
and this basically makes it more durable for a travel ukulele. While there are similarities between this ukulele and their travel series, the travel series are a combination of like plastic and wood. I believe that this is more durable. But similar to the travel series, it does have this rounded back again, which is really nice because it enhances the sound. You can tell it's well made. The strings themselves are also different on this ukulele. They are Flight's own brand fluorocarbon strings. So I think typically Flight use a coilless, hang on, let me check. So I think Flight typically use a coilless strings, but these are their own brand fluorocarbon strings. Finally, you've got things like the tuning pegs at the top. It has 12 frets with markers on the 5th, 7th and 10th fret. These markers are on both the front and the side of the ukulele, so when you're looking at it from this angle you can, you can see them as well. The whole design of this ukulele is the polycarbonate reinforced plastic, including the neck of the uke, whereas on the Chavi ukulele, I believe this was like a plastic which had the wood crane appearance, whereas this is the polycarbonate reinforced plastic. And lastly, there is also a, um, a strap button, so you can attach a strap to the uke. And I think with these ukuleles, uh, similar with the travel ukes, this rounded back shape could potentially make it a bit more difficult for people to hold, so having the option to put a strap on it as well is really helpful. So now I'm going to tune the ukulele and play a couple of songs so you can hear how it sounds. I'm going to use this, which is, if I can show you, I'm going to use this, which is a clip-on tuner. It basically clips on top of your ukulele. You turn it on, like so. It will go green when the string is in tune. You did it. Oh, it just happened a second ago, I swear. Perfect. There are other ways of tuning your ukulele, such as YouTube videos, there are apps that you can get, and you can also get ukuleles which have a built-in tuner as well, which I find really convenient. winning. Okay, so now my ukulele is in tune. I do think it's worth mentioning that when you get a new ukulele, it, it won't come in tune. It will arrive out of tune. You have to tune it up. New ukuleles will slip out of tune easier um, because they need to kind of get used to it. So keep tuning it up and it'll stay in tune for longer. Right, so now I'm going to play a couple of songs just to give you an idea of how it sounds. Karate 
Don't message me, cause I won't reply Wanna make you cry Ain't that how it's supposed to be Though it isn't me Boys will be bugs, right? Oh The fear in my enemy's eyes Listen as the crowd would sing Now the old king is dead Long live the king One minute I held the key Next the walls would close on me And I discovered that my castle stand Upon pillars of salt, pillars of sand I hear Jerusalem bells ringing Roman cavalry choirs are singing Be my mirror, my sword and shield My missionaries in a foreign field For some reason I can't explain Once you go there was never, never an honest word But that was when I ruled the world so hopefully that gave you an idea of how the ukulele sounds. I think this ukulele has really quite a bright and punchy sound. This could be down to the material, the polycarbonate reinforced plastic, but also the, um, the different strings. Like I said, these are Flight's fluorocarbon strings. But yeah, overall I do think this is a really quality ukulele. However, there are a lot of similarities to the travel ukulele and it would be interesting to see them side by side. So let me know if you'd like me to film some sort of comparison video between them. But yeah, like I said, I really like this ukulele. I think it's got a lovely sound. I love the colours and the variety within the ultra range and I definitely recommend. Like I mentioned at the start, this is a soprano uke. Generally, I would go for maybe a concert uke. But I do really like this and I do believe that the shape of it does give it a more enhanced sound. I'd like to say a big thank you to Flight for sending me this ukulele. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future because I am, trust me, I do other videos. The last few videos have been unboxings but I'm already planning different types of content so if you have any ideas let me know if there's any songs you like and want to learn want a tutorial or something for, let me know. But yeah, thank you all for watching, um, and hopefully I shall see you next time. That's <gasps> durable, see? It's not even a scratch. I like to say a bit. I don't know that one. <laughs> No, not you. Don't listen to me. So now, no. So now.